everybody, it's Jonathan with Curto's Ring of Fire in Westchester County. Welcome. Um, in this video post, this outdoor kitchen analysis, I'm going to do something which um, I don't think I've actually ever done this before, and that is to focus on a build out that um, I would not recommend. Um, usually we're focused on the positives here and best practices. But I feel that sometimes if you look at um, a mistake or maybe mistakes that were made, you who are probably doing research and working on your plans now can learn from that and that may be more beneficial. So let's do it. Um, this particular build out is from a few years back and we did not have anything to do with the design or the construction of the island. The gentleman found me online due to these videos and um, uh, bought the alfresco equipment and the Kamado Joe from me. Um, the Let's go quickly over what's on the uh, uh, island. Um, going from left to right, we've got the alfresco, I have to use notes, this is very rare that I do this, alfresco trash draw. Um, you'll see the Alfresco triple draw system, uh, Alfresco 42 inch ALXE grill with the AXE uh, 42 inch access doors. Then we take the turn, that's where he's got his Big Joe and you could tell that this uh, build out has got some years on it because that is a old Kamado Joe, like two generations old. He's got the uh, stainless steel around the um, around stainless steel trim on it. And this, this certainly predated the, uh, the hinge, uh, the, the newly improved hinge that came out a few years back. So um, old school Kamado Joe. And then you wrap around to the uh, third side of the uh, horseshoe and he has his sink there. Now on the other side, he's got, th this is something that they actually executed really well. They've got the seating area with a bar uh, for people to sit at. So I don't have any gripes with that. The problem I have with this island, which is very, very evident, is that there is like no room to move in the cooking area. He has, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, there's an alfresco side burner in there as well. So he has three cooking devices going on, the side burner, the grill, and the Kamado Joe. Um, no refrigeration. He can't have anybody in there with him. It's, 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 too, it's too tight. Let's think about a situation where you are cooking, you're plating stuff, Maybe somebody wants to help you out and start washing dishes or use the sink. Um, there, there's not enough room in here for two, for two people, two adults to operate. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the space in between the two legs is barely three feet. And I don't like U-shaped islands to begin with. And if we're going to get involved with one, if this is what the customer is hell bent on, I tell them you need at least four to four and a half feet to even make it functional. In this case, I don't think it's even three and a half. So if there was somebody in there with him uh, working, uh, you're gonna be bumping into one another. And it's also just not, this is more of like a mental thing, I guess, but it just has a very tight claustrophobic feel and I don't find it would be very enjoyable to cook in this space. That's just me speaking, um, it is what it is. The other thing about it, which I don't like, is the fact that the Kamado Joe, the way it was built in, I am a fan of completely open cutouts. So you have uh, unencumbered access to the grill as well as the ash uh, draw, okay? Um, we have an island upstairs that's similar to this one in the fact that the countertop continues in front of the grill and actually goes down even further in our display. It's, it's, doesn't work. Um, this one, yes, he can get get down and reach the ash straw yeah, without a problem, but it's just like, I, I just prefer openness, okay? So whether you're doing a KJ, you're doing a Primo and egg, you're gonna build it in, build it in completely open, as you see in some of these examples that I am uh, uh, showing you on the screen right now. The other thing, uh, his vent, is like the first thing that you see on the end cap over there. I would have moved the vent down a little bit. He's using 
Um, and actually, that's, that's the interesting thing about this. I believe that he's using propane gas. And propane is a heavier gas than natural gas, so the vent should actually be uh, lower. Now, I don't want this video to come across as a complete castigation of this guy um, because I think that some things were done really well. Um, uh, first of all, he's got like everything you need in terms of cooking. He's got the, he's got the alfresco, he's got the double side burner, um, and he's got the KJ. So he's got everything covered in that sense. You want to cook with live fire, you got your KJ, or you could drop in your solid fuel insert. You want to use the convenience of gas, you've got the alfresco as well as the side burner. He had used a really pretty countertop with this, and um, there's enough counter space. They did a very good job with the counter space. There's counter space, if I go to my notes over here, um, solid prep space next to the side burner, um, as well as next to the Big Joe. And also he has space on either side of what's a 24 inch alfresco sink, the AGBC 24. So certainly from a work standpoint, they have the space to plate, they have the space to clean, that's wonderful. It, unfortunately, you're just not gonna get two people really in here um, to do that work without basically elbowing one another in the neck. Um, it is what it is. The seating area, they did a great job with that also. It's a raised bar and um, again, the countertop extends out far enough so they have plenty of room for their plates, utensils, a little bit of elbow room. I, I, I wish they had given more thought, like with the idea, the concept of openness that they gave to the bar that could have been given to the, um, uh, to the cooking area, the production area as well. I mean, all he really needed to do was buy another two feet um, and push that right lay out and he, they would have you know, knocked it out of the park. So anyway, the moral of the story is we don't see many U-shaped islands being built anymore, but, but if you are going to do it, you must give yourself a minimum of four feet. And if you think that your outdoor cooking is something that's going to be, say, a family affair, okay, maybe um, your spouse will be involved, maybe one of your children, well then you need to extend out and we gotta go minimum of four, maybe even five. Um, and that's basically what I have to say about it. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of straight runs and L's, what can I say? But um, if there are any questions, <clears throat> you can hit me up. I'm gonna use a new email now, my Curdo's email, okay? It's right there, jonathan at curdos.com. Curdos, of course, being our appliance dealership, Ring of Fire Outdoor Living. Um, those emails get to me uh, more efficiently. So uh, if you're in the tri-state area, come by. The water is always warm. We are ready to uh, help you, assist you in any way uh, we can. Um, and by the way, we do sell these products, Kamado, Alfresco products, and we'll ship them nationally to you. That's about it, folks. I hope this helps. Um, and uh, if there's any questions, hit me up. Thank you.